uh, Apocalypse Lemon, you're on the Kill Stream. Go ahead. We have a few minutes left with Jesse Lee Peterson and Ruby Spacek live right now. Go ahead. Hey, uh, JLP, man. Love you. Uh, you Thank actually you. make me feel guilty for hating people, and uh, yeah. a lot of people know I hate pretty hard. Uh, but I, I have to ask uh, the whole – what uh, you, you mentioned suicide earlier as a negative. Men kill it's because they're suppressing their emotions uh the and, thing yeah, is that everybody right. kills themselves more when they betray the the natural way things are uh for example men without purpose kill themselves more uh men's happiness is associated with work meaningful work more often than anything else almost 80 percent women kill themselves when they are turned 45 and don't have kids um <laughs> you know men kill themselves when they change when they chop off their a member all right. Like everybody who, who rejects their natural order yeah. or whatever, that group of people starts killing themselves. And it kind of it kind of makes me wonder, you know, what's what's wrong? Like what, what could possibly be causing all these degenerates to kill themselves? Like, is it is it possible that there is kind of a natural order that's been followed for 100,000 years? Or is it is it just that for, you know, hundreds of thousands of years, we were all idiots banging rocks together and then you know, Marx figured it out 60 years ago or whatever. And now we all have to, you know, now we're all correct. Um, well, the society that the, the hunter gatherer groups that we evolved in, certainly we carried those traits over, but we also have large adaptive brains. So we've created a very complex society that has lots of benefits, but it does have a lot of downsides too. And there is a crisis of purpose in general, and especially for men. So I agree with you that is I, I wouldn't say suppressing emotions is the only cause of suicide. There's a lot of causes. I think there's been gigantic technological changes. I think with the advent of the internet has completely changed how humans interact with each other and increased isolation, which, you know, in cause causes more suicide. Um, so, you know, there's a lot to it. And yeah, so I don't So you are, you are of the opinion that we were basically a bunch of monkeys mocking, knocking rocks around until Marx figured it out? We well, just no. were it wrong. No, I think. Well, I mean, well, I think people. We, we had, couldn't have been right because you think we're like anybody who's a traditional. Well, I think I, like it, I think it's better that we you know have laws against like killing people and that we have clean water and all the other great things about society, and that involves suppressing some of our more negative natural impulses like towards violence. Yeah. All right, thank you. And then, and then one other, one other thing. Real sorry, quick. you mentioned yes. that you're you're attracted to to beta males. Uh, <laughs> the, the thing about that that's really interesting is that the features that generally make up the soy boy stereotype are all genetic defects. Do you think that that has anything to do with the fact that you can't or won't ever have kids? Is that why you're attracted to them? Because you know your genes aren't important. Thank you. Um, it's maybe uh, it could be. Who knows? I've been attracted to them even back when I had some real solid fresh eggs too. So who the fuck knows? All right. Um. So let's see. Asmador says she needs to submit to Hake and make white babies. Uh, <laughs> let's see. No, They're hey, gonna have genetic boy. defects. I, it's it's a bad idea at this point. I'm just far gone. Somebody I think says, you like Hake. Though know, Hake is an amazing guy. He is. He's, uh, you can check Are you him trying out to set me up, report. Jesse? Does he know I'm yeah. thirty? Uh, HakeReport.com. <laughs> He's still a virgin. It would be perfect for you. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I 